Hey, welcome back to Real Estate Brainstorming Podcast. Glad to have you guys back. Your co-host here, Ryan Huggins, coming to you guys right now. We had another fantastic week in real estate, and boy, do we have a great week coming ahead. So today's topic, we're going to cover CRMs and lead generation. And uh, we're, we're actually, this is the perfect time because as we talked about before, Tom just joining EXP with me. And he is ready to start boosting his business and getting leads in his area. So we're going to talk about his experience going through and uh, interviewing a bunch of different companies. We're going to talk about my experience interviewing different companies. And also we're going to talk about um, my lead generation company, things that we're doing and why we've decided to land on KV Core as our main CRM. So Tom, go ahead and uh, tell him a little bit about what's going on with you. Well, first of all, uh, welcome everyone. Thanks for uh, coming in, listening with us, following us. I hope. Don't forget that we're here to help. Any questions you may have, Ryan? Why don't you, as an uh, Ryan, as an appetizer, why don't you tell them? I thought it was incredible. The leads you got on the fourth and the fifth. Yeah, that's correct. So uh, just this weekend, first off. <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't. I was going to turn my leads off, right? I was going to turn yeah. off my oh, campaign. Oh. I was going to turn my campaign off. Right now, I'm running a, an $11 a day campaign on Facebook. Um, and it, by the way, if you guys are not following me on Facebook, I show my lead system and things that I'm working. But anyway, I was going to turn them off for the holiday weekend thinking, oh, it's going to be a waste of money. And uh, on the 4th of July, I had eight leads come in on my $11 ad spend. I believe it was $1.19 average for oh. per lead. And then on the 5th yesterday, I had another seven leads come in. So between the 4th and the 5th, 15 leads for $22, which is phenomenal with this campaign we are running. And then also um, what we're using right now is the drip campaign system, the right. automation system that is KV Core. And uh, what's really exciting is those leads are actually responding. And so I'm able to uh, reach out and talk to the warm leads, which is really exciting. So That's yes, I was going to turn off my leads and I left them on and thank goodness I did. Tell you what, I'll give you double your money right now for the leads. I'll work them here from Florida. <laughs> hey man, I'm, I'm open for that. You want to make some calls? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, that or I think once a month, you should come live at our place. And once a month, we'll go, my wife and I will go live at your place. Yeah, remember that there was a movie about that where yeah. and it's kind of it would be cool because I wouldn't mind. I know Jamie wants to go to, to Key West again. You guys come here and hold the fort down. We'll go there. She, she, she would love it. Well, what we're going to talk about this episode is uh Ryan has said is CRMs and marketing lead generation. Uh now you tell me, Ryan, when I'm wrong, because I will be often. I am new to real estate in the world of cloud technology. I've been in it 30 plus years and pretty well skilled at it, but not when it comes to the technology. So part of what Ryan suggested, and I understand, you've got to look at the big picture and what's automated, and that involves CRM, that involves uh, lead generation. And I think you would agree, Ryan, there's a million people out there will willing to take your money. And uh, some of them good, some not so good, what have you, uh, whatever. And so I had the onerous task of looking at vetting, I'm going to say at least a dozen. And uh, uh, that, that I learned right away, step one is because it's a CRM doesn't mean it's lead generating. Because it's lead generating doesn't mean it has a CRM program. Now, I'll give you an example. I think Zillow for about two grand a month, you can own an area, part of a zip code. And they'll give you leads in a dashboard, whatever you open up your files, and there's some leads. But there's no autoresponder to the person who opted in. There's no drip system to that person. If you don't keep calling them, it's over. You're going to die in the vine. You're not alerted. They simply show up when they send it to you. So it's much more complex. I'm not going to say complicated, but dominoes of what do you have, what works, and what doesn't work. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about a funnel system, right? Because there's there's a funnel and that's what everyone's talking about. Like a lot of people who are asking, oh, I want to start start doing lead generation. And the first thing is top of funnel. Top of funnel meaning that you have leads coming in. And these are the these are the leads that you get from running ads, whether it's free ads, paid ads, whatever the case may be. So um, to kind of give you an example, let me go ahead and pull up. So this is my, yeah, uh, I'm going to pull up my 
Let's campaign see. you're doing now? So this is the company that I run. On I, I don't do it anymore okay. because now when someone comes in as a lead, instead of charging them two thousand dollars a month to manage their campaigns and things, um, which I'll do, they can still pay for it. But instead, what I do is I just have them come on board with us at EXP, and then we can set them up with lead generation through there. So anyway, with this system, um, I was charging two thousand dollars a month, and your as a realtor they would be getting 100 leads per month, okay? Now with that, you do get a CRM. And we were using a company called Go High Level. And Go High Level is a great system because you can set it up with automation and you can put um, automatic text messages, you can put automatic emails, and you can even put automatic voicemail drops. And then in there as well, you put certain times to make actual phone calls. So. Um, Automation does not mean elimination of actual work, right? It does help. And what it does is when a lead comes in, it'll you can send them a, a text message. Hey, thank you so much for taking a look at my site. If you have any questions, let me know. Just are you just browsing or are you in the market right now, right? So that's one of the text messages I send out immediately. If someone says just browsing, I then try to start a conversation. Of course, still, no, you know, just don't throw that away. But if someone says, I'm in the market, you know, you jump on it immediately. That's an immediate phone call. You go after it and then you stay um, live with that, right? So for the people that don't respond, um, they're going to continue to receive emails and text messages with our follow-up system in KV Core. And I was also doing this, um, which you can still do this with Go High Level. But uh, for 120 days, you stay you know, continuously uh, tapping into these people. Now... What I found is Go High Level is great, but you have to build everything. And it takes a lot of time. That's why a lot of these uh, lead managing companies, they charge you a lot of money because uh, for, for, for in reality, to set up a campaign, I mean, it took eight to 12 hours to write all the emails, to write all the text messages, to put the schedule together. And for me, I, it was it was like, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done because it is so meticulous and you got to do it right and all of this right, stuff. Right. And so um, I wanted some more automation. And that's what I just, I just started searching out there for more automation. And uh, that's where, you know, we we both ran into a couple of different things. So let's talk about a couple of the companies that you interviewed over these past couple of weeks. Okay, Ryan, and I'd like to ask a couple of questions about what you've already covered. One is, and I love your statement, uh, CRM lead generation is not elimination of work. That's it's correct. automation of the work. Yeah. Now, if I could ask you a couple of quick questions. When you say a lead comes in and you automatically get back to them, are you saying that an autoresponder, I may be using the right phrase or not, gets back to that lead right away? And if you get back to them personally, that's in addition to. Or is it up to you to type in a message or pick up the phone and kind Because of, I know a lot of rookie realtors would want to know that. They're, they're not yes. clear about that. Great, great question. Yeah. So if a lead comes in, so what happens is I run an ad on Facebook. They yes. click it. They go into that. And then they fill out what's called a Facebook form, which is going to ask them a couple of questions, right? And so I actually put at the end of the form is their, their personal information because they're already used to ask, you know, hey, when are you looking to move? Uh, zero to one month, one to six months, six to 12. And then um, second question, what price range are you looking for? And then uh, a couple of other questions. Uh, we're not gonna give all the sauce away today, but you ask a couple of questions, they fill out the form and at the bottom it says, your, you know, your name and then your, uh, your email address and phone number. And the cool thing is with a Facebook form, these people are on Facebook, so they can just hit an autofill form for those answers, and it just fills in there. After that, it automatically comes over through an API system. Uh, you can use Zapier, or um, we're using API Nation with KV Core. So as soon as they hit submit on that Facebook lead form, it takes them to my website, which has what I guaranteed them, which is a list of homes that they can take a look at, whether those are a list of foreclosed homes, new construction homes, depending on whatever campaign they get. You're, you're running, right. Yeah, they get an actual result and it's a true result of what they were seeking, right? So you want to make sure that those are in alignment. After that, that, that lead information shoots over to me inside of KV Core and my system automatically triggers a text message. 
and it shoots them a text. I don't do this. I could be on the golf course. I could be surfing yeah. on the beach, whatever's going on. They get an immediate text message from me. Some people respond to that first one. Some people don't. The next day they get an email. And then later on that evening, they get another text. And with that text, depending on the verbiage, they'll respond or they don't. But also in between there, there is a trigger for you to call. You'll get a notification on the app that we're using. It says, hey, call this person now. Uh, what's really great actually with KV Core is there's a dialer system set up. So when you are ready for the day, you get yourself mentally prepared, you go sit down, click dialer, and then it just starts dialing through your calls for the day, which is really nice. Does the dialer work on your computer as well as your, your phone or your phone only? Yeah, so what happens is if you click the dialer from your computer, it'll automatically call your phone and say, hey, we're about to call this client. So you can do it okay. both ways. The dialer works on your computer, but it does ring through your phone. And then also um, you can use it directly from your phone, which is really nice. Okay, uh, to show you how outdated I was, I had a big debate with my wife months ago, getting back in the real estate uh, email. And she says, Tom, texting's where it's at today and oh yeah 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 and as you know i did hundreds of addresses down here i launched my own company without crm or any lead generating and it wasn't just the, the budget it was i wanted to try it and uh i would send a text brian uh take a look at your emails regarding i put your address in i, I hand did this but still what i want to point i want to prove uh and check your emails i had I was running maybe 30, 40% of immediate text backs. What's this about? Who are you? Or where's the email? Whatever. The texting is where it's at. So if you're looking at a CRM, you want something that you could, email is great, okay? But you want something that text as well. That's, I think, extremely important. Yeah, so um, I don't know the exact specific open rates, but I believe last I heard a text message open rate, uh, meaning that they actually see it in your phone and they at least click on it is 67%. And then an email open rate is something like 5% sometimes. Yeah, I can and believe also, it's that much, yeah. Yeah, and also nowadays, because of these extreme filtering systems, like Gmail itself has its own filter system where it'll filter out what they consider junk mail. And so like if, you're, if your email is written in a way that sounds fishy or you're not in their address book, it'll automatically go to their junk mail and, and they may never open it. So that's a fantastic idea that you're saying, hey, by the way, uh, check your email. And then you might even want to throw in there, you know, it might have even gone to your spam. So just check that. Or, or I don't no. like using the word spam. I think, I think junk works better. You know, that's right. your, even though they're called spam filters on a lot of these, just use it. Right. It might have gone to your junk mail. Might want to check there. Okay. Well, getting to some of my interviewed, uh, eliminating the ones that either had terrible reviews, and some do, and be careful of that. Make sure you vet them. Uh, cost is going to be uh, an amazing factor. I saw plans that were $199 a month to sign up, that were $2,000 to sign up, that were $500 a month, regardless if you used them or not, to $1,200 a month. So they're all over the map. Uh, why would you want to pay more than necessary? True. But then again, you don't want to shoot yourself in the foot and chase price. And then you find out it won't do certain things. For example, uh, like Ryan said, if someone opts in uh, because they're interested in the ad, the Facebook ad, for example, that he's notified of that. And an autoresponder goes out and, and says, thanks them, and makes them believe they're already in discourse with Ryan. Some of them don't do that, okay? Well, this is something you wanna know. Then you wanna know, and here's a big one I found, Ryan. Okay, a year later, you have 1,500 leads, okay? And that's not crazy with seven in one day, eight in one day, 1,500 leads. And Laguna Beach just passed a law that everyone gets a free boat or something really you want to let everyone know about. You know it's going to stimulate your database and maybe create some uh, buyers. Well, not every CRM program, lead generate, can you go in and just put in that email, okay, click, and it goes to all 1,500. Some of them, I think Boomtown, whatever, 
doesn't work that way. You can't do that. Some of them, when you do go to do that, and you're a wizard at this, Ryan, is you can lay in a YouTube, a video. You can lay in a picture of this new boat or whatever you're trying to sensationalize. Okay, Some of them don't allow you to do that. Okay, I also learned with IDX feed from your MLS, some programs will actually crisp up the picture. It'll do its best to make it look better. And I don't know about Laguna Beach, Ryan, but I'm embarrassed with some realtors here how crummy their photos are. Okay, uh, it, it will not only try to crisp it, it'll try to make it larger. Some of them I've seen will be three to a page when you're on your iPad. And by the way, there's one. Some of them don't go to iPad or iPad only, not your computer. So it really has almost got to be a side-by-side -side comparison to what you think will work best for you. Yeah. I think I think KV Core scored as high as anyone with me. There were a couple up there with with KV Core, but thanks to EXP, if you become an agent with EXP, is the, the uh, bill of fare is free. Your campaign spending is not free, of course. Spend ten dollars a day, you can spend a hundred dollars a day, but the campaign is free. If you went outside. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ryan. I think it would be a thousand, maybe several thousand dollars to get KV Core. Yeah. So if you buy it for, <clears throat> typically you you would buy it individually. I think it's a thousand dollars. And then if you yeah. buy it for your team or your your uh, independent brokerage, it's five thousand dollars a month or something like that. It's it's pretty expensive. It works phenomenally well. And what you said too about the the email thing. One of the great things about what KV Core does as well, when you do what's called a bulk email, like you said, if I wanted to send a, oh my gosh, there's a huge thing going on, special. If you buy a home in Laguna Beach, you get a free golf cart, you know, because we got a lot of golf cart cruisers over here. And um, if something like that were to happen, and you want to send out a bulk. The beautiful thing about KV Core too is they send them out in in waves because if you were to send out an like a bulk email 1500 right. that's a you can flag the whole system not just right. you as an individual user but like the crm company so they send them out in batches over that throughout the next couple of hours which is nice you're not going to get hit that's fabulous that. fabulous yeah. you don't want to find out what do you mean they shut me down yes exactly and, I, and i've seen that now another thing uh i believe kv core has and correct me if i'm wrong is we talked about emails that automatically go in a drip system. You have the ability to go in and tinker with those. You could change the verbiage. You might want to make it a little more relevant to Laguna Beach, the weather, the surf, whatever. It's here in Key West, fishing's fabulous, okay, whatever. You may want to leave them alone. They're generic. Just want to keep in touch. If I can help you. Thank you. Goodbye. Non-confrontational. You're not trying to sell them anything. But then again, you can also tweak them. Not all CRM uh, programs can you do that. Right. And so I've been going through the training within uh, KV Core as well. And I've been through the training on a lot of different ones. Something I just found, and it was just uh, in the last video I watched, really cool, market updates. Uh, there's been a couple of people that I follow on YouTube that I watch. They're talking about market updates and a lot. Of, so I live in Orange County, California is what you would consider it. Very large county, very vast uh, like area of land that it covers. If I were to send out a market report for Orange County, who knows what that's going to be for the certain person. So you can actually send out market reports by city. So what's great is these leads are coming in. Yes, uh, I'm in Laguna Beach, but I work. Newport Beach, Corona Del Mar, uh, Laguna Niguel, Laguna Beach, Dana Point, Aliso Viejo, Laguna Hills, Irvine, all of those areas and surrounding. What's cool is if someone comes in as a lead in that city and they want to move to a specific city, I can send them automatically. I just push a button and it turns on market reports for whatever city that they want to move to. And that's automatically opposite of the campaign of the emails and texts we're sending out. This just Bye. sends them a once a week market update, which is phenomenal. Right, right. I, I mean, I think that's fantastic. So to be a little rudimentary again for beginning agents, and you may be 25 years old or, or 60 years old, had a career, you're retired, you're looking at real estate. Today, I think the second nail in the coffin, and we've talked about this, Ryan, uh, a lot of people think the first real nail in the coffin was Zillow and whatever, and 
uh, NAR getting together, MLS and selling leads, whatever, the feed. I think the one before that, and I'm not going to dwell on it at length today, but was the walk-in traffic. Where I've been in it long enough, I remember you might have three ups one day, three people walk in. Uh, you might have 10 or 12, which could add up like your leads very quickly. Okay, those days are gone. So you have to say either, I kind of see two real basic approaches. One is sphere of influence. You know, I have a thousand relatives who know a thousand people and whatever, and you're in 10 bowling leagues, you know a ton of people, and you're going to work them, you're going to approach them. I, I will never discount the, the value of that. We know people who that's all they do. In fact, I think there's a couple YouTube videos, I forget his name, who did just that. And he did like 35 deals his first year. Yeah, one of our coaches, Gustavo, who runs a Gustavo, IRA program. Yes. Yeah, he's one, yeah, he's actually my personal sponsor into EXP. Oh, and yes, okay. he, he's a, a sphere of influence expert. And he just, yeah. he helps all of our new agents who join our team learn how to really utilize their sphere of influence. Well, let's use this kind of as a segue for a commercial in a way. Talk sure. about double year income coaching and how I believe Gustav was one of the coaches within double year income coaching. So access to Gustavo is there, either whether it be module or maybe personal mentoring or coaching. That's correct. Yeah. So you can do uh, question and answers. Let's say you want to, you know, learn how to get a virtual assistant in Mexico or Thailand or India. He has a company that does that. And he actually is helping people inside of double year income coaching, which is free, by the way, if you want to just get some free coaching, um, he's helping people learn how to set up an ISA program for themselves and really take it to the next level. Cause once like, like we just talked about, you know, I've got 15 leads in two days. If that continues for the whole month, now you're looking at 300 leads. If you get, let's say you got 10 leads a day, I could do that easy just by turning up my volume, 300 calls a day or 300 calls a month. And then next month now it's 600. The next okay. one is 900. It just gets out of control. You would need someone to help you manage that. You could, you could scale up and that's another thing. Some of them you couldn't, it was like, that's it. You couldn't scale up. And uh, for you, for those of you listening, you're thinking of uh, uh, perhaps joining us. I'll give you an example of that. Let's say in your territory, like Ryan's, he's in Laguna Beach. Uh, he gets a couple people to talk to him, and they come aboard in Laguna Beach or next door, Newport, whatever. Ryan can simply crank up his uh, spending, produce more leads, and be handing off those leads to those people. And I know most places I've been, the companies, they don't do that. They're not equipped to do it. Uh, and the broker's certainly not going to do it. Where also in recruiting, and this will be important for you thinking about EXP, I'm in Florida. And I was recruited by Ryan, who's in California. I know California. I used to live there. But I'm just saying, so the whole U.S., Canada, in fact, internationally, I, I have vineyards in Argentina. I might actually approach next time I go there, Buenos Aires, uh, a REMAX agent who is there, Buenos Aires, about why he might want to join EXP, what have you. But anyway, back to the programs, uh, calling, door knocking, writing letters, postcard campaigns, to me are just kind of on the way out like the, the uh, you know, hula hoop or something. Things, technologies here. And the people I see doing consistent volume, and that might be 30 homes a year, and you're happy as a clam with that, or it could be uh, one of the guys in there today, 100 homes a year consistently has a team. Tell about some really serious money. Yeah, that's, that's major. And then also, so let's talk about the ones that we did interview. So we did interview, um, all three of us, me, you, and our other partner, Eric, we interviewed Set Schedule. So we were on the call with them for a very long time. They yes. have a great program. They have a great sales pitch. Um, but what you said before the call, and I wasn't even aware, I didn't even look at it. I'm so glad you did. Hey, take a look at the reviews. And that was really the, the nail in the coffin for them because the interview went really well. Um, the reviews are atrocious. And then I even reached out to some of the people in our network, um, you know, with with EXP and W Income right. Coaching, we have 55,000 agents in our network. I asked the network and multiple people said, run as fast as you can. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's not, I'm not saying bad things about set schedule, but I'm just saying for word of mouth advertising, 
that one didn't work out for us. We didn't feel comfortable there. No, no. Then we both, uh, I interviewed one called SYNC, C-I-N-C. I think it probably rivals KV Corps. But SYNC is, uh, uh, if you don't go under a 12-month contract, it's 11, 1200 a month to run it, uh, $9.99 to set it up. And they'll, they'll discount it 500 bucks right away. So probably in reality, it's 500 to set it up, $1,200 a month. And then they comp you on campaign fund money, 250 a month for a year. Okay. And that adds up, obviously. But boy, you factor in. Oh, and something the other one of us to come up with. Oh, I apologize. The hook. Some of these companies not only want to set up the established create your account, the running costs to maintain it, your campaign costs, they want part of the deal. Referral fees. Did you come across any of those, Ryan? I have. So um, I'm actually a part of a referral fee network called Ojo. And um, they've given me a couple of leads. Some of them, um, they haven't been fully vetted, but a couple actually were fully vetted. I've got one that I'm working with, which will be a rather large commission, which is exciting. I mean, it's a $2 million client, but they do charge 35% um, on the back end. So after they close, this one was free. Um, and that's why when I heard what Set Schedule does, where they charge you 2000 up front to be a premium member, and then they only charge 20%. Um, I was really excited because that's, you know, a way lesser. And I don't care where leads are coming from. I don't, I used to be the agent where it's like, I need 100% of every deal. I would rather do a ton of deals and get some referral commissions and, and help the other agents out and so on than just be, a, a, you know, it's all me. I'm trying to hoard money. It's actually a very bad way to live your life anyway. If you think right. money is, uh, if you need to like, oh, hoard all of your money. Money comes and goes, and you have to use money to make money. So you got to be careful on that. But um, anyway, when when I saw that they had to charge up front and they twenty percent, I was like, all right, cool. That's when I was like, let's talk to Tom and let's talk to Eric and see if it's great for our little team we're building. Uh, didn't work out. Ojo works great. Um, just their leads are very few and far between. Um, and then some of them are, you know, uh, mobile homes and things of that nature, which are, you know, great. They're quick and easy but uh, the commissions are not quite as, as tall as some of the other ones. Right. Well, in Key West, I don't know about Laguna Beach, the average home sells for a million too. So you're going to have uh, fewer sales, but you're going to have larger sales, even if you have one half the transaction. Uh, and there are a fair share of realtors down here. They do four or five a year and they're happy. Okay, they're not trying to set the world on fire. People who want to build a team and do that, that's great. So it depends, like you said, it depends where you are. But you don't have to be uh, Einstein to figure out if I get a million two of the average sale price down here, and in Tulsa, Oklahoma, it's 120000 you'd have to do 10 homes here to make the same amount I would make here. So you've got to take that into consideration. What's the entry level? What's it going to cost? But again, don't chase price alone. And I think we're so fortunate with AXP that it's already in a relationship with KV Core for two reasons. People like Ryan, if you were to join under Ryan, myself, uh, will walk you through, will help you with it. Some of them claim they have support systems. Some don't. Some, uh, it's uh, 30 days, perhaps. Uh, some uh, have notorious uh, bad reviews about how reachable they are, how available they are. Worst thing in the world is you want to get into a program, you're paying good money and you're not getting any leads. Okay, not blowing them. Once you got them, not getting any leads because I don't care how cheap it is. I, I Like you mentioned, I want 100 leads a month because I can't give you figures, Ryan, but I guarantee you this, people that are 30 days out, 60, 90, maybe next season for me, I'm going to lose half of them right there. Not on my trip system. But thinking I'm going to uh, have something be consummated in the next 30 to 90 days is naive. And I think that's true for a lot of realtors. So you've got to load the pipeline up. And probably three to six months out, you're going to see buyers coming aboard. You're going to see listings. And uh, maybe this uh, third 90 days, you're going to start seeing closings. Yeah, it's, great I, that you, it's great that you mentioned that because that was the one thing 
the one thing that, that I hated the most when I was running my agency is that um, most clients are going to sign up for, uh, you know, I always encourage them to do at least 90 days, but everyone does a, a, a 12 month test or a, a 30 day test, right? They want that one month and see how it goes. And they were getting the leads. Two things happened. One, they didn't follow up. So they have the drip campaign, but they never right. get the call work, right? So, um, I mean, I, I, I'm not joking. I had a client who consistently had people responding to their texts and I could see it because I was managing the account. And, um, you know, it's not my job to follow up with them, but I would text him. I would be like, hey, you've got leads asking you to, you know, they want to go buy a house. What are you doing? And so um, when that started happening and then I finally passed my license and I was like, well, shoot, you know, I'm going to do a better job of following up than these people. So right. instead of selling this lead generation agency system, I'm just going to go to do the appointments myself. So Got instead it. of making $2,000, you know, off of my clients a month, now I'm making, you know, eight, 10, $12,000 commissions. It was just a smarter move, but the follow-up is the most important thing. And it isn't, so we've got to remember today, real estate is not a today business. You're going to have some urgent buyers. People are like, oh, you know, my apartment lease is up in uh, October. Let's go right now, right? And so you can do that. But most buyers are 30, 60, 90 days out. And then when you start looking with the market the way it is, it ends up turning into 90, 120, you know, 180 days out sometimes, depending on the price range, their budget, and um, the simplicity of buying for their offer. I, I agree with that totally. And I think someone entering the business, you want all the support you can have, not what you're told you'll get, what in reality you get. And I'll go into double your income coaching again uh, about the library. I'm, I'm part of that. So it's self-serving, but uh, my specialties, but it's there. And I know quite a bit about the subject, whatever it's there. I don't care. It's a, a listing agreement, an amendment, whatever. And also you go in the chat rooms uh, and you can ask about what, what do you know about termites or aluminum wiring or whatever, and you can you can interact with people. I also love to take a moment and talk about that referral systems with PXP because I found I give a quick example. I had a doctor. I'm in Florida. I had a doctor in Bullhead City, across the river, Colorado River from Laughlin, or uh, Nevada. And this guy made 400000 a year. He's looking for investment property. And uh, he wanted to look at some of the Bullhead City where he, where he was uh, working. And for my wife and I, she's a broker, to try to get a straight answer from a realtor and get them to agree to something for a referral. I still want to be in the back seat looking at every offer made, this and that, and make sure it was, it was done correctly. Uh, couldn't do it. Couldn't put it together. Okay, so this was this wasn't even a thought of mine. Uh, this referral network system, the way it works, it is the coolest thing ever. I actually just helped somebody, and this didn't even come to me. It wasn't even going to be a, a referral for me. It doesn't matter. But I had uh, someone in one of the the Facebook groups that I go in and I answer questions and help people for, and and uh, also get answers for myself that I have questions. I was in this group, and someone said, "Hey." Can someone please help me find a referral for Hinton, West Virginia? And this was yesterday. And um, so I was like, hey, I'll help you find one. And I, I figured that 50 people were going to like, I know someone there, right? So uh, over the course of the next couple of hours, um, I had reached out through our group, through our main network, um, Double Your Income Coaching Network, and no one knew anyone, which is fine. And then I reached out to the Honey Badger Nation, um, that where um, no one knew anyone either. And then I reached out to the full, the full power of EXP, the EXP uh, referral network inside of Workplace. And I had three people respond to me uh, and two of them re recommended one of these, this one person. So I reached out to them and they were on the road traveling somewhere that they couldn't do it right then. But um, I was in the meantime, I was still talking to this woman who's not with EXP, she's really nice. And um, I was telling her, you know, how our system works and the referrals, she said, she went to multiple different uh, referral network companies. They make you sign up, put your email information, all this in. Uh, once you're in, they still don't have an agent in the area because one, she didn't even know, right? She's, they're, they're, just, they're just a referral network. So they make you get in before you even ask right. for the city. 
Um, right. well, anyway, I was able to find her someone within an hour. They were able to converse with her over the next couple. And now they're working on a transaction. I'm not in on it. I'm not getting a referral fee. I don't care. But EXP is going to be a buyer's agent on the deal. And this woman's going to have a, a referral, which is great. She's going to get a 35% referral off of it. And she didn't even do anything except for being smart enough to ask for help. What's yeah. great for me personally, I had that house in Huntington Beach that I sold to my client. She needed to sell her home in Oregon, another small town, like one that most people would never be able to find someone in. And so I reached out to our network and in our main network immediately, I had three people there as well. I ended up interviewing them and I picked the one that I liked the most because they lived in the actual neighborhood. They understood it. And that transaction just closed. In fact, I got the paperwork right here. Huh. I just, uh, just got the, the, the check from title. So that came in. That was exciting. That's great. That's great. So, you, yeah, you don't want to reinvent the wheel, but you want to be up to date and you want to have it all encompassing if you can. And nothing's more, I think, exciting. As you mentioned, you're almost going to turn off uh, your program this weekend and you left it on and seven leads one day and eight another. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I never turn it off. <laughs> I'm never going to. And it doesn't make And like you said, too, because of what we are building with our team here uh, and your team there uh, with the referrals, I'm going to I, I do have. And oh, what's great. I forgot to tell you, I just partnered with another mortgage partner that also has a lead follow up system. So uh, my leads will be getting double followed up, which will be nice. But these are going to become qualified leads through my mortgage partner and then shot back to me. And I am going to start doing the referral process where I'm going to be referring them out to people that are joining my team at EXP here in Orange County, because I can't service all of Orange County. Like my father lives in North Orange County. I can service it, but it's an hour and a half drive there, hour and a half back. Right. And that's just unrealistic. I would rather just go, hey, I'll take a 35% commission. Right. Um, you know, here, you take this deal and handle it. And I'm getting to the point now where my leads are really starting to overflow and we are going to need some help here. So, you know, we're looking for buyer's agents in Orange County. Reach out to me on Instagram at win with Ryan at win with Ryan on Instagram. If you are looking to make a move, uh, we'd be glad to help you out. Yeah, that's exactly it. And uh, it's almost like fly paper. <laughs> you put enough of it out there and uh, things passing by will stick to it and you'll build a relationship. You'll build a clientele. And uh, much of it will be already automated. Yeah. Well, hey, let's talk about that. So you were on the Double Your Income coaching call this morning, and you watched the Zoom call about how about what if you got leads that came in and you didn't have to call them? So we're talking about you do have to call because you have to talk to these people. But these right. people are um, followed up with text and email, but you do have to call these leads. Let's talk about what you learned today about Zoom and the system with the follow-up and uh, how does that work? So tell me about what well, Brad's secret If I do it is. accurately, yeah. what they do is a campaign program. They preferred Facebook and they put it out there for buyers. And it's when there's a match, they invite the buyer to a future webinar free. And it's usually only about a week out. Okay. So it's, it's you don't wait for months for this. And uh, probably a really lean one results wise, they had 10 people. They've had uh, some with 40 people that show up to the webinar. Now the mortgage broker does his or her spiel, talks about mortgages, the ins and outs, what's right, maybe what's the best way to do it. And then they follow up, say an hour, with 15, 20 minutes of Q&A about the given area that they campaigned in, Laguna Beach, Key West, what have you. And of course you lose some people. But the people that they've talked to have already agreed, uh, unless they're paying cash, uh, to talk to the broker, the mortgage broker, but also they're ready and, and much more briefed and versed on how to move forward with you. So they're not, if they had 40 people, they're not 40 times talking to a person about why buy in Laguna Beach or why buy in Key West or what's available. They're doing it once. So how cool is that? So so like it's I said, fabulous. this fabulous. month I'm gonna get a hundred, I'm gonna get a hundred people this month that I'll have to call and screen out myself. So this mm -hmm. system, if I understand this right, 
over a week's period, they've had over 40 people that are into it. They go to the actual Zoom call. So there's 40 people. It's yes. like me and you talking, but we're giving information about how to buy a home properly. And at the end, they say, hey, who has any questions and answers? So let's right. say that there's four people that stay around for question and answers. And then those people then go talk to the mortgage broker and get qualified. Yes, and I stand corrected. Thank you for differentiating. Is it? I don't know if it's the same thing as a webinar, but it's a Zoom meeting. It's live. Yeah, that's a webinar. Okay. So, so it's not of a scatting. seminar. Some yeah. webinars, as you know, are been pre-recorded. Some are live, but this is live. Yep. And, yeah, and I think it's more animated. It's more action. It's got more energy flowing. Yeah, exactly. And it's through Zoom, and they even can come on it or afterwards. You can go one on one, and you're you're dealing with them through Zoom, which is much more intimate than a text or an email. They can see you, you can see them. You may have some charts or things and props you want to use, but I think that's great. And, yeah. and the numbers they're accomplishing uh, is phenomenal. You do that, and you can do different campaigns. You could have buyers for condos, perhaps in Laguna Beach. Do one that's buyers for homes, uh, new construction, which you are doing. You might have three or four different programs and have three or four different uh, Zoom get togethers, <laughs> for lack of a better phrase, uh, during the month. And boy, if you pull 20 or 30, they're like you said, you have 100 leads. I just can't imagine you're not going to walk away with some listings or some buyers. Yeah, what I like the, mo the most about that, which you and I talk about a lot, is that's why we're on video, right? We want our clients or um, other agents to see us, know, like, and trust who we are. So you're on a call with a, a, a you're on a call with potential buyers for 45 minutes to an hour. They're seeing your face the whole time. They're getting to know you, your personality. They know if they want to work with you. And at the end of that, they already know, like, and trust you. It's not like you have to call this person five times to convince them to like you and. So right. that's really, a, that's a brilliant uh, idea and a brilliant way of doing it. So and, I, and like I said, I can see it working for new construction, condos, uh, whatever, homes between 500 and 800, whatever. I can see first time buyers. Okay. Uh, uh, I believe what, uh, one of their programs was first time buyers. Yep. Okay. And so they had a whole collection of people and we debated that today with my being in Key West average home a million two. You're not going to have first-time buyers, and I'm not going to preclude them, but realistically, you won't. You're going to have people who bought homes before and probably own homes in Michigan, Illinois, New York, a cold state. And they're coming down here for the winters, okay? But it doesn't mean I can't have a buyer's campaign. New construction is one. Condos is two. New home or homes is three, Okay. That could definitely, I could be giving a couple of Zoom meetings a month, maybe more. Absolutely. I mean, I could easily see doing one of those once a month, one every other week. I, I yeah. saw a video on it because I didn't watch the whole thing. I saw a video advertisement of it where there was a woman who she had too many. <laughs> I mean, there never is too many, but she literally one woman ran this whole campaign with her mortgage broker. She got 10 qualified buyers which like that would be overwhelming to take on 10 buyers yeah. at once. But hey, you know what? She had the opportunity of, you know, getting some referral commissions off of that as well. So that's really exciting. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I, I'd rather have that, frankly, catch too many fish and, and give it to people who want to fish, whatever, than you don't catch any. Absolutely. I want to fill the nets. I completely agree with you. So I'm going to pull up my, uh, I'm going to pull up the results because it's been 30 days now and I want to see where we are with our advertisements. So hold on with me just a second here. You mean your budget? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to see, I think I've reached right at 30 days. I might not be that far out yet. I think I'm only at like 25 days, but I'm going to see what the results came in as. Yours per day or is yours, uh, Per month, your budget. Mine's they, per day. Per day. Okay. Yeah. So you don't have to renew whatever those keep. I gather they use a credit card and they just keep dinging you, right? Yeah. So once it once it accumulates to a certain amount, they just go ahead and uh, they charge. Run you. it through, which yeah. is great. So you're never gonna get up. Oh, I gotta start over or something. Correct. 
got that momentum going. So right. you're looking at a running total for 30 days of stats? Yeah, so if you are watching on uh, YouTube, again, we do have a YouTube channel and that YouTube channel is Real Estate Brainstorming, Real Estate Brainstorming on YouTube. But as um, you can see here, the reach for my campaign, um, it is active since June 15th. So, wow, yeah, only 20 days. What's, uh, reach, had, what's reach mean, Ryan? Is that it? People actually looked at it? So in the feed, people have seen this 6,000 times in their, in their, when they're scrolling through Facebook. They've sure, seen it. sure. 99 people have clicked on that and actually put in their information, became an actual lead. So 99. Right, because that 99 does not reflect they looked and, and jumped off. That's correct. You're they right. actually went through with it. Okay. Right by 99. That's, that's phenomenal. And that's for, that's not even a month. Yep. So we're looking at $2.37 a lead with this campaign that we're running. And uh, that is a campaign that we do give to everyone who joins our team at Double Your Income Coaching. And uh, we can definitely help you out. So if you're looking to get leads, if you're looking how to convert leads, if you're looking how to build a lead campaign, uh, we can definitely help you out. Ryan, especially when you offer that, I think it's a terrific uh, way to start. Uh, talk a little bit about new construction only in the sense of, because I, as I recall what you told me, uh, some people are tire kickers, just maybe kind of want to know what something new in Laguna Beach costs. But some people are just curious and really can be moved over to an older home or a renovated home or whatever. They're not just dyed in the wool, make it new or get lost. And you've converted some of those people. Yeah, absolutely. So when people are, I'm running a new construction ad in my territory, specifically right now, I have five brand new, new construction homes, right? There's more coming. There's a neighborhood that's about to unleash uh, in, you know, Mission Viejo, one in uh, Lake Forest, and those will all be, you know, master plan homes, thousand homes, uh, but they're not available right now. So right now in Irvine, there's three. Right. They're also all over $2 million, but New construction can mean so many things. New construction by a home builder, city plan, or new construction as, hey, an investor just bulldozed this house and built a brand new home, right? So right. new construction has a lot of nuance to it. And then also a lot of people, they'll check new construction pricing. They just, they come in as a lead to check new construction pricing to compare it against a uh, existing home, right? So, oh, wow, this 3,000 square foot home in Irvine, $2.2 million, brand new, brand new, but I can get one for, you know, 1.7 if I put some uh, uh, work into it myself. So um, they're there to do comparisons. Also, when they come in, if they're a lead, they want new construction. I show them the five constru new construction properties they have available to them right now. Um, and then that system, by the way, KV Core automatically updates that system. It's living, it's, it goes on. So you don't have to like update it yourself every time, which is beautiful. But like if more come on or more come off, whatever, it does it automatically. But yeah, but also um, when I talk to these people, I'm like, hey, tell me a little bit more about what new construction you're looking for. You know, are you looking for a new construction townhouse, a new construction home? Are you looking right. for a brand new build or are you looking for a remodeled build? Whatever the case may be, because there's a bunch of different stuff. You know, like Laguna Beach specifically, we're not building new neighborhoods, but there is new construction all the time. They, they buy these, like these homes behind me. Um, you know, some of these get bulldozed and then they rebuild a new, you know, mega home behind it. And uh, there's a bunch of different options. So you never know. So we're running these ads and then we're just um, qualifying the clients through talking to them in real life. Well, for example, I'm sure in Laguna Beach, they have here in Key West, uh, land becomes so valuable, people who would never sell decide to get rid of that lot. And who buys it often will be a spec by our builder. And now he builds a brand new house. Like here in Key West, the only brand new construction I ran into was someone building about 10 homes. There's three left and they're all 2.5 million. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of reasons you might want to spend that if you have it. But I can see people coming and saying, I could spend it, but I don't want to. Yeah. Maybe let me look at something else, what have you. I guess what I'm saying is they are so categorized that if you don't have new construction, you're losing them all. That's not the case at all. It is a lot of them are converting or drifting over to maybe, like you said, a remodel 
or it could be a little further out of town. I can go 15 miles up the road from Key West, the beautiful highway, scenic, and there's new stuff that's uh, 700,000. Yeah, and you also mentioned something um, about when it comes to new construction, some people, when they're new, like we talked about first-time homebuyers, they think they can only buy something like new construction, you know, because it's easier to get finance through them or whatever the case. Oh, they don't know that yeah. there's a bunch of other programs out there. So it's, it's, again, us as realtors doing our job properly and educating our clients. So um, just get them into the funnel, get them into the pipeline, and then your job is to help them become educated and, and be a skilled buyer. And we have in the double year income coaching, I know there's modules on uh, qualifying or how to work with a buyer because the toughest thing in the world is to go out and, and they're not pre-qualified. Either uh, money down, how are they going to get that money? How soon is it coming in? What's the budget? What's realistic? What are they looking for? It sounds maybe kind of complicated. It's not, but you can't be so uh, reluctant or afraid to ask them. So Ryan is... Uh, if I found that perfect house for you, are you ready to move on it? Okay, no, yeah, you're ready when you retire. And when's that? Oh, 12 years from now. Okay, Ryan, uh, whatever. You got to be able to ask people that. Where's yeah, we have scripts in the system for us, you know. So in the double income coaching, we have the script section where you get, uh, these are considered online leads, right? So to, to approach an online lead versus an in-person lead, you talk to them differently. You ask different questions. Right. Um, we have qualifying questions for every different category, which is a fantastic thing. And a lot of the leads that come in, they do take the time to answer four or five questions. I think the longest I've seen is seven by one company, CRM company. But that is so helpful. When are you thinking of moving? Zero to three months, three to six, six to nine, whatever. You don't uh, uh, avoid someone that says a year from now, but you put them on a drip system, you thank them, you keep in touch, whatever, because you never know what can happen uh, and, and why. But one of the questions I see, which I think is so important, and you're not asking it, the opt-in's asking it, are you currently working with a realtor? Yeah, exactly right. Oh, you do need to know nothing that. Nothing's worse than you spend 20 minutes on the phone thinking you're bonding. And they say, oh, by the way, I know Joe Blow from Kokomo, and he's down there. Or he's going to do a referral for me. Thanks for your time. Exactly right. Yeah, so you definitely want to do that. As long as they have not signed a buyer's agreement with right. anybody, you, it's open game, but um, definitely okay. a great question. So, right. All right, Tom. Well, uh, okay. we've got to wrap it up here. That was a phenomenal call. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So CRMs out there, there are a ton. You want to make sure you do your own vetting. Call tons of them. Um, and then also the lead generation system is separate. So make sure you know how to get leads and uh, work with a client that's uh, or a, a company that can generate you legit leads. That sounds good to me. And any idea what our next uh, podcast is going to be about? Are we going to go back to the 401k? We can go back to the 401k. We do also have a guest that wants to come on to the podcast to talk about credit repair and how real estate agents can actually profit from helping their co clients uh, in the credit repair industry. So very, we very important subject. And uh, they sometimes can work hand in hand with someone like that and the mortgage broker of you got to bring your FICO up, you got to get rid of some of the debt to income, whatever, and you know where you stand, you know how to maybe crawl out of the hole. And, and don't give up first time buyers. I mean, FHA is like a 520 FICO. So you don't have to be stellar out there, three and a half percent down. Now that's tough where you are or where I live, Ryan. But for a lot of part of this country is there's hope. I mean, you don't have to wait years or what have you, but you've got to know, you got to take stock of what you got. Exactly right. So, hey, everybody, if you, if you want to find us, don't forget, you can find us on YouTube. Real Estate Brainstorming is our channel, Real Estate Brainstorming. You can also find Tom on Instagram. He is Tom Brainstorming at Tom Brainstorming. And you can find me on Instagram at Win with Ryan. If you want to chat with us at Win with Ryan. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.